All right, so let's take a look at silver SP 500 pound yen and franc. So this is silver, right? So as you know, with silver, we were short all the way from down there. No big dramas pushing it down. Now we're at a level where the market is picking up. That's the demand zone there. So yesterday I said if it pulls back, going long is also an option. And also you can sell from the top. See if you want to do an intraday trade, weekly pivot, weekly pivot, as you can see market pushing down so this zone is okay to go long at which also is in this range which we talked about before so the PST level 28 was 2080 2080 is today Alright, so 2080 is today. The market comes down into the 2080 zone. Alright, it's not a bad place to be hopping on board. Alright, so if Astro Hours were down here, we can push up into that zone. And we're in a demand zone and we can pull up. Now there is a gap here, so don't go in heavy. Okay, don't go in heavy because there's a gap here. The market will want to fill it out as well. So and we've got a runner so we've got a, as you can see a big runner coming down here so going long here you need to cover yourself there that should take the 39 43 at least 39 21 25 41 21 25 41 okay so those are the levels there and on the weekly you we don't have a level that's that so that's the most recent one 25 21 57 for the day that's that at the moment okay so the pullback to go up is not a bad idea like i said on silver so that looks like a pst level which we can take it's also the level where the market caused the breakout okay as you can see here there um sp500 Okay, so no real dramas. Look, on the monthly, you see where the resistance here, right? 5043 is 4015. 4015. Is there. So the market's already done it. Weekly pivot Monday. This is Monday, by the way. 4015 Monday. This is weekly pivot Tuesday. This is Wednesday. And this is Thursday. So if you think about it, it's like pretty much all as foreseen. All right. And that was your target there. And that's, you know, that's where we ended up today, as you can see. So good, sharp fall into the zone there. Um, and we still got room to come down. Apparently, it looks as if. Okay. So we're down here. Now look, let's see, you understand that this is a demand zone, all right, on a daily chart, and you understand we're not going to be sellers here, okay, I can now get rid of this, here. So what you need to do is sell off if the market goes up to 36, 3965. Okay, 3965 is up here as you can see. So if we go up into that zone, there all right and your stop loss needs to be above here or above there now there's a bit of a gap here right so this is why astro hours is going to be helpful because there's a bit of a gap here so what we can do is um wait for the astro hours to come up and that's the high of yesterday 
and if it comes up there you can put your stop loss above the high of yesterday and sell it around this zone as well okay at the brown lines or where it fills in the gap so there are options here as you can see okay so other than that not much to talk about now on the weekly we've got this 53 zone which is 4048 and you need to mark it in there as well 4048 like I've done there all right I can get rid of this and this okay because if the market is a buyer and we start breaking out you know where we're going all right that's going to be target that's going to be target and this is your daily zone there all right pound pound what can I say okay not much really happened if it goes up you can still sell it off if you're a pound trader you'll have to you'll have to wait you'll have to wait to come down to buy to go up to sell sideways market 53 21 20 18 90 21 20 this is where you can sell off 21 20 18 90 is where you can buy okay so that's your zone there so if it does pop up you can sell if it pops down you can buy the muck around in the middle Frank yesterday I said if it pulls back you can buy as you can see nice pullback yesterday beauty weekly pivot and that's it. if you made use of this you're a rock star if you didn't sorry about that but it's not my fault okay that's a beautiful pull up okay you can see it's also in your demands and the weekly pivot guys come on okay it's right in there right in there you see the last manipulation before the breakout and then just carries on comes in here you'll be interested to know what time that was which is three o'clock here and yesterday's astro hours was on the platform 2 and 240 that's 230 that's 245 so they're 240 and two o'clock is I think it's this one there all right so as you can see that's two o'clock and that's 240 in between there market comes in nicely and turns around so if you did this at the astro hour coming into your weekly pivot nailing the market pushing up well there you go okay great what to do now why what to do now it's like a different question altogether and what to do now mm. what to do now well, this is going to break out, obviously. Um, it has to go. Yeah, look, same kind of stuff here. See the runner? It's a runner. Exhaustion. Base. Breakout. So any pullback you want it to go long. And what can I say? I don't know what to tell you now. On this one, again, if you come back into the daily pivot or this zone, okay, you can push up because this is the level that caused the breakout of this high this is the level that caused the breakout of that so the market's gonna either buy somewhere close or somewhere there okay so this is already done comes back into the weekly pivot uh, the daily pivot the white line the daily astro hours um, can go long 
dollar yen well dollar yen that was one level pretty close to the top as you can see 135.53 is the level we had yesterday I recall yesterday saying this is a bit too close to the tops for my comfort but as you can see once again that is two o'clock this is a one hour chart by the way that's your astro hour bar market goes up also right on the PST level weekly pivot zone there so pretty good pretty good and going up um, on the daily I still say we've got room to push up I mean the market should go up in my opinion and if it pulls back down I've got 65 for you 135 72 135 oops 135 72 is there. Okay, so that's the zone there. So if it does pull back again, well, you know, that's how we can move forward. The daily pivot and this zone is your entry zone. That's on the PST, as you can see. On the weekly, I'm just seeing where this HLCL1 is 134.18. That's going to be, yeah, that's all the way down here. 134.18 is down there. Okay, so that's it. As long as we don't go above this, there's a possibility it can come back down to go up but it's a bit too far down so I suspect the market should kind of like accumulate here and then push up okay so coming back down to the daily on the 65 135 72 here it's not a bad idea okay but the daily and the weekly should be your buying zone at Astro House.